All right. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. It's the one and only St. Mike, a.k.a. Plumber Mike, the Pipe Doctor. And I got Steven, a.k.a. Godzilla. Look at that. The guns. The guns. Anyway, quick little how-to video. Working on this Burnham Series 2. I think this is a P205. Yep. 130,000 input on the BTUs. And I have a very loud relay right here. Hear that, guys? That's coming from this coil relay right there. And uh, we're going to make this go away. I got the replacement right here. The Honeywell R822D1014. We have to make a little modification to it. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so here are the two relays, these coil relays side by side. The one on the right, as you can see, it's got some discoloration on it. This is the one we took out of the fan center relay, that Honeywell uh, component inside the boiler that has the transformer and it has the mounting bracket for the relay. And the one on the left is my new relay. Now, they look a little different, right? as far as the amount of pins that they have. If you notice, this one has two right there. This one doesn't have it. This one has an extra one on the, on the, the right-hand side, right? And this one doesn't. So don't let that startle you, but let's take a look at where this mounts and I'll further explain. So there is the fan center relay control itself. And that discolored component is where the relay plugs into. And if you noticed, we actually have two terminals in the middle, right there. See those? But we don't have those two terminals on the relay we took out. So all that means is that we could just take those two out. Or we could stick them in there and it doesn't, it's not going anywhere. And I'll show you that right now. Here is the opposite side of that. And as you can see, those two terminals in the middle don't have anything connected to it on top. And neither does these two. Looks like just someone just cut them off there. Right? So the only things we actually need are the two here and the two there on the right side, which connect power coming in and going to my circulator. So we're gonna modify the new replacement relay. Watch this. So what I already did on this terminal right there is just take the needle nose and bend this outward. And again, one-handed mic. They're gonna try to do, oh, I got this. There we go. And I got the other terminal right there, all right? I'm gonna take my needle nose and just cut that terminal out like that, Let's see? So now, besides the middle terminal they're identical we're just going to plug this in there's our modified relay we're going to stick that in there like that make sure it's nice and snug and then that retaining clip which is right here right goes around the relay and sits right there. Pretty easy. Except the other side popped out. Get in there, bad boy. Let's get the other side right there, perfect. And let's just sit that right there. Let's turn the power back on. The automatic vent damper. Is in a cycle. It was on and open when I turned the power off, so now it's just going to power cycle. Spinning around. And as you could tell, she's quiet. We'll wait for main ignition. So there you have it, how to replace a very loud 
fan center relay on your Burnham Series 2, whether it's a P202 or 208, I think 8's the largest they make, 250,000 BTUs. You know, very, relatively inexpensive DIY job. You know, this component you can buy online, I think it's under 50 bucks. And you can save the expense of having an HVAC professional come out and quiet that down for you. Again, this is for educational purposes only. If your mechanical ability is not that high, not that great, um, I suggest you call a qualified heating professional to do it instead. Thanks for watching. If you are a 20 percenter, thank you very much. We just recently hit 2,000 subscribers. 20 percenter, you know, those 20 percenters are 20 percent of the viewers of this channel are subscribers, 80 percent or not. So thank you. And the best way you can, you know, contribute to this channel is by subscribing if you have not already done so. Thank you. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving.